Have you heard of improper fractions? They are fractions where the numerator is larger than the denominator. Normally, fractions are where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So improper fractions are the other way around. And if we look here, we have all these improper fractions where the numerator is larger than the denominator. 12 is larger than 5. 11 is larger than 6. 30 is larger than 7. 70 is larger than 6. So now that they are written in improper, we can actually write them as mixed numerals. I'll show you how. 12 over 5. We need to write this as a mixed numeral. Mixed meaning it is going to have a whole number and a fraction. That's why it's called mixed. We're going to have a whole number and a fraction. So 5 or 12 over 5 as a mixed numeral. How do we write it? Very simple. We ask ourselves, how many 5's go into 12? 2. The 5's the denominator stays here. 5 goes to 12 twice, which make 10. 5 times 2. What's remaining? 2 to make 12. How many 5's go into 12? 2 5's may go into 12, which make 10. However, we want to go into 12, so there's a remainder of 2. The remainder goes as the numerator, and the denominator stays the same. Let's do this one, and the picture will get clearer. How many 6's go into 11? So 11 over 6, we want to write it as a mixed numeral because it's in improper form now. How many 6's go into 11? There is only one 6 that can fit into 11. The 6's the denominator stays there. 1 6 goes into 11. What's remaining? 5 is remaining. 6 into 11 goes once. And you have 5 remaining to make 11. This here, 30 over 7 is improper. We want to write it as a mixed numeral. Mixed, a whole number and a fraction. A whole number and a fraction. Same thing. Let's write it as a mixed numeral. We ask, how many 7s go into 30? We need to know our times tables. How many 7s go into 30? Well, 4 7s go into 30, because 4 times 7 make 28. What's remaining? 2 remaining. 4 times 7 is 28. We want to go into 30. There's 2 remaining to make 30. That means 7 goes into 34 times, and 2 remainder, and the denominator stays the same. 70 over 6 is another improper fraction. We would like to write it as a mixed numeral. We ask ourselves, how many 6's go into 70? How many 6's go into 70? 6 goes into 70 11 times. 6 times 11 is 66. How much remaining? 4 remaining to make 70. We put our remainder up as the numerator there. So 6 into 70 goes 11 times. Make 66 and 4 remaining. Now, what can you tell? What do you notice? 11 and 4 over 6. We notice that the 4 over 6 can simplify. Remember, in fractions we have to always be careful. Can my fraction simplify? In this case here, yes it can. 4 over 6, the highest common factor is 2. So our final answer will be 11 holes. And 4 divided by 2 is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 11 and 2 thirds is our final answer. So six, 70 over 6, 70 over 6 becomes 11 and 2 thirds in simplest form. Very important that we always ask ourselves, can we simplify? Here we can't, here we can't, and here we can't. However, here we can tell straight away 4 over 6 can be simplified. 11 and 2 thirds. So this is the way to change or to write improper fractions 
into mixed numerals. Now we're going to go back and go the opposite. We would like to write mixed numerals into improper fractions. Let's do that now. Okay guys, now we're going to change mixed numerals to improper fractions. Let's see how it's done. We have 2 and 4 over 7. 2 is a whole number and 4 over 7. We would like to change this mixed numeral to an improper fraction. We start with the denominator. The denominator is 7. We simply follow this process. 7, then times, then plus. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 plus 4, 18 over 7. Simple as that. Improper. The numerator is larger than the denominator. We start the denominator. 7 times 2, 14. 14 plus 4, 18 over 7. The denominator stays the same. Here, we start with the denominator again. 3 times 6, and then plus 1. 3 times 6, 18. 18 plus 1, 19 over 3 is our denominator. It stays the same. Improper fraction. 8 and a half. Well, what do we do? We've got to start with the denominator and we times and then plus. 2 times 8, 16. 16 plus 1, 17 over 2. 2 times 8, 16 plus 1, 17. 17 over 2. 2 is our denominator. It stays the same. Last one. We start with the denominator again. 3 times 5, 15 plus 2, 3 times 5, 15, plus 2, 17, over 3. So here, as you can see, it's a process that is basically the opposite of writing from improper to mixed. Now we're going from mixed to improper. Are they all improper? Yes, because the numerator is larger than the denominator. The numerator is larger than the denominator, and the numerator is larger than denominator. These are called improper fractions and these are called mixed numerals because there's a whole number and a fraction. This is how easy it is. Make sure you master it because it's important for you for later on throughout your high school.